Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shah Weekly. And in this video, we'll be looking at that how we can decompose our views. So I'm currently working on a brand new CIF UI maps course. And one of the things that in the course that I'm going to show you is to how to consume an API and display some information about the API on the map. So in our example, in our code, one of the projects is restroom finder, meaning you're just going to locate all the restrooms near your current location. So right now what you see over here is a restroom detail view. And you can see that it does show you the details. So the, one of the details is the restroom can be accessible, the restroom can be unisex, and it may contain changing tables. So all of these things can happen. So it's not like a enum based kind of thing. Uh, one single restroom can be accessible, unisex, and changing tables. So this is a code that I typed in to create these kind of icons, which is representing that if the restroom is accessible, if the restroom is unisex, if the restroom changing tables, and so on. But it doesn't look good, right? And if I want to use the same kind of a structure in some other view, it will be very hard. I have to kind of like copy paste it. So let's go ahead and see that how we can make it better. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a brand new view just to represent these things. And I'll call it amenities because it's basically an amenity for the restroom, right? If you are offering all of these different things, I guess accessible, it has to be accessible. That's a requirement. Uh, but if, uh, well, depending on the location where you are, I guess, but uh, these are amenities provided by a particular restroom or a particular shop that contains a restroom. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new view and I'll call it amenities view. Okay. So there you go. That's the amenities view. Now for the amenities view to work, you need to pass in the restroom. So we'll go ahead and pass in the restroom. Now, since I'm passing the restroom over here, the Xcode previews is also going to complain that, hey, you got to pass the restroom over here. Okay, so we'll go and pass the restroom. I've already created a preview uh, data load function, which simply loads some sort of a hard-coded um, JSON file or hard-coded information from the JSON file so that I don't have to reach out for the actual restroom API. And this JSON stuff is right over here. I've actually linked a video. I will add a link to the video, which shows you that how to do that uh, so that you can perform these actions, all right? So once we have the restroom over here, the next step would be to display that information. Now, instead of simply going over here and copy pasting this code, I also want to visualize these things individually. So instead of just putting all the stuff in the amenities view, I can go ahead and create another small view. Let's call it amenity view. Amenity view is different from amenities view. And the reason it's different is it represents a single amenity. So it's gonna be a view. So let's go ahead and create the view. And in order for the amenity view to work, let's actually just say amenity over here or something. There we go. So in order for the amenity to work, it you will need to pass in the symbol. Symbol means whatever the image you want it to appear. And also is if it's enabled or not. And that's it. And over here, we can simply check if it's enabled, then we're simply going to go ahead and display the symbol as a text view and we're done. Great. Now we can start using this simple amenity view in our amenities view. So how do we use it? We can add a add stack. If you want, you can go ahead and add some spacing. That's perfectly fine. And now we can just start using amenity view. Let's go ahead and copy it something. There we go. One amenity view. You can see we're passing the symbol and we are also passing the is enable, which is simply a Boolean value if the restroom is enabled or not. Now, all of these things are being read from the restroom file. So if you go and change the restroom file, this file uh, to false, then your you know, accessible 
icon is not going to get displayed. So if I change it to false and I go back to my amenities view, then you'll be able to see that it's not displaying anymore, all right, because I've disabled it. So let's go ahead and enable it because we do want to see that. So I'm just going to say true and I will go back. And the same exact logic can be applied for the unisex as well as the changing table amenities. So there we go. We added more amenities view over here. All right. So I think this is much better because it's decomposed. Now you have these amenities view, uh, which is only responsible for displaying the amenities. You have an amenity view, which is responsible for displaying a single amenity. And now we can actually call that over here instead of all of this code that we typed in with the at stack and everything. Uh, we can remove that stuff and we can probably just call amenities view and passing in the restroom. And there we go. So the result is kind of like exactly the same, but now we have more control over it. And also our restroom detail view, it's much cleaner, much leaner, and all of these components are much smaller so you can reuse them. So that's how you can start with decomposing your views in SwiftUI. Hey, if you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have a lot of different courses on many different aspects of iOS development. You can check out my ChatGPT course, uh, build real-time chat with SwiftUI and Firebase. I even publish a brand new course on Reality Kit and AR Kit. And you can see I have a lot of different courses that you can get. And guess what? There's a sale going on right now. You can get all of these courses for just $9.99, all right? So I'll add a link in the YouTube description and you can check out that particular link and get the course. Thank you so much.